news. Go for it. I like it. Chris McCracken, hit us off, baby. Yes. All right. So we've talked a little bit in the past about uh, Netflix getting into gaming, and they have games you can access through their app on your phone, on Mm -hmm. your tablet, uh, and that's kind of been where it is. They're They're just mobile games. Well, Netflix yeah. has also launched, or just recently launched, I think only on the iOS App Store at the moment. Uh, I'm sure it will be coming to the Android Store as well uh, around the corner. But they have released a game controller app, which is strange Wait, because what? the way... Yeah, so it's like, well, but I don't understand. Like, I'm just playing mobile games on my phone. Yeah. So what do I need this controller for? Because it's, it's, like it's its own app and everything. But... Inside um, the flavor text, it says that you can connect to your TV and play, but it doesn't list any compatible games. And then later on, you can see. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Connect to your TV. Oh, oh, okay. So the controller like through USB to your TV. Yeah. No, no, no. You just connect it like wirelessly to your television in some way, like probably through Netflix. I'm saying your television, but you would connect it to whatever you're streaming Netflix on, likely in this instance, which it's describing. No, but my question is, like, I don't know if my TV has Bluetooth built into it. And so am I, like, getting a USB dongle and putting that in my television? I I think what you're doing is you're logging in, because I haven't actually downloaded it myself to try. Okay. But I believe what you're doing is you log into it with your Netflix account, and then when it's on your TV, they're, they're like, talking to each other through the internet. They know that they're... Kind of like, oh, kind of like Stadia was. Stadia, the controller controller had internet to itself, and that was talking, not necessarily... Okay. I believe so. Now, if you have a device where... Like, let's say you're using a, a, an Apple TV or maybe a Roku. Possibly there's a, again, I haven't downloaded it myself to try, but possibly there is also a Bluetooth connection you could utilize as well. But I think that would be the, the one of the workarounds mm. that you could do. But there is some stuff in there when you dig around that talks about how um, Netflix games coming to your TV soon. So oh. we don't know exactly mm. what that is. And it does say play your games on your TV with the Netflix game controller, the game controller app. At pairs your TV and allows you to play games with net uh, on Netflix using your phone as a mobile device controller, which is weird. Number one, because if they're gonna bring games, number one, we've never seen anything that says like more legit style, if you will, games that you would play on your television are coming. So this is kind of letting us know, hey, that looks like something that's gonna be coming down the road. And then two, mm-hmm. it's like okay, well, but if it can do Bluetooth or other things, like why why would you anybody? that games knows virtual controllers on a screen are, are not that great. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily like that aspect either. And I don't know about you guys, but in my house, yes, I can log into Netflix if I would like to. But for the most part, my wife Stacy owns Netflix. Like she's the one that like yes, when Netflix right. is getting booted up, it's it's my wife Stacy and my dog Ellie, and they're going to sit there and they're going to watch whatever. And like every time that I do get in there, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like 38,000. It feels like new things added to the queue. And she's like, yeah, I was watching this yeah. and dabbling with that and everything. So I don't even know when I would have the time to do this anyways. I mean, I guess I could bring it up maybe on my computer, which is how I typically game right now. But it is interesting that they're at least opening this door, and I'm curious to see where it goes. I just really hope they're not going to become completely dependent upon this virtual controller. Yeah, what's mm-hmm. interesting is like you're just wonder it's so hard to know what companies are thinking. Because mm-hmm. Netflix yeah. does not equal gaming to almost anybody's brain. You know, right. outside of like that we know it exists and it's you know mainly in mobile form. I'm not thinking I'm going to go play a video game, let me log into Netflix real quick. And so I you just wonder what this push is and why and we've, we've talked about long, long, long ago how it seems like they operate in the red, right? That Netflix has always been like in mm-hmm. crazy debt and just kind of making mm-hmm. it happen and making it work. And so you're like, are they trying to get a slice of this gaming pie that makes so much money? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like it's like if Walmart started selling cars or something like that. You're like, do you do yeah. cars? You do cars too? Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah. You didn't know we did cars? And you're like, no, but why you do cars? You don't do all the other stuff. And so it's just if right. I just I'm I'm with you, Chris, where I'm like super interested, but I'm a little side eye about it. I'm not like mm-hmm. wide eyed and bushy tailed like, ooh, I can't wait to see what Netflix does in the gaming space. I'm like, what is Netflix doing in the gaming space? Exactly. You no, know, it feels more exactly. like like it would make more sense if this was Disney Plus. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like Disney Plus has like all these little Mickey games that you can play and you can play right. Disney Speedstorm through your Disney Plus account and stuff like that. Like that would make way more sense than like 
the Netflix thing is still super buried. Like for me to go to the games, it feels like I have to, it's almost like I'm putting my age in. It's like, what year were you born? I'm like, (laughs) 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 nowadays, you know, that's why I feel like it is finding gaming on the Netflix app. Well, Mm -hmm. and and also don't forget with Stadia, that kind of was the precedent. Like, and it did not work very easily (laughs) and it did not work. So why are they like, Hey, they tried it. Let's try it too. It's like, uh, Mm -hmm. guys, uh, do you need, I think you're right, Gabe. I think they're looking for a piece of the pie. You know, they're still in a, you know, they're still considered an emerging company. Yes. They're going to be high in, in debt and they're trying to really get profitable. So maybe they're just, they're taking another stab at it. Who knows? But you know what they could be doing now that I'm thinking about it and we're just kind of talking this out. Hmm. They might be, you only need one hit. You only Mm, need one candy crush, you know, to start making a bajillion dollars or a flappy bird or something that catches that's only on their platform. and, And that's so fun. And that since they already have such a huge install base, it's like, okay, we, can, we have the ear of I don't know how many tens of millions of people it is. And it's like, if they can maybe get this, a couple of these apps to pop, then I guess maybe they can make some money through some in-app purchases and stuff like that. But like besides that, mm-hmm. I don't see why do it. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, but see, that's part of the other aspect of this as well, at least in terms of this whole TV push that it seems like they're getting into. So on on the app that's on your phone or or your tablet, at least how it works on iOS, I, and I think you guys confirmed it's the same way on Android. But you go to the game, you say, "Yeah, I want to play that." It kicks me out to the app store where I download the yep. game. I'm playing it locally. Right. Yes. How's that going to work on the TV? Is it going to link me to some store where I? I mean, because if I'm just doing it on my TV, but you'd imagine like it's, it's a, a streaming. TV, it's a streaming game, right? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. So, like, in that sense, I feel like we've still shown that this is not ready kind of thing. So, it just doesn't seem like a smart move for them. The app, the, the phone thing, I can get. Because, like you were saying, all you need to get is that Candy Crush, that one thing that's the killer app, and you can do that. That's a harder proposition on oh, television games. You know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, so, sure, sure. This sure, seems sure. like a this, – this avenue in particular is, it, while interesting – and I'm curious what it's going to be. Seems like a bad idea in that, or it's a much higher hill to climb. I guess I should put it. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think is I'm, I'm fairly certain. Correct me if I'm wrong. That they have Oxen Free Two on there. Yeah, well, that was oh, a Netflix really? thing, right? Yeah, that they, was a they, Netflix they thing. Own, they own them, but that's also coming to PlayStation and PC, or if it hasn't already. Yeah, it's out already. But I was. But if I could get it and play it on Netflix, I would much rather play it with a phone controller than my TV remote. Uh, I feel like it would just, it might be a little smoother just to, if I'm just going to even just walking a guy around, maybe it's a little bit smoother. But again, it just seems like a long way to go for something I might not really use. Yeah, I think another thing too is that, huh, I don't, the other, I guess they could dive into interactive media you know kind of take the fmv approach of like um uh, again they have. like at dead of night like you know mm-hmm. where you're playing a fully fmv you know situation and that's and they're gonna about to do a huge push of that you know mm-hmm. you know i could that could be cool see something like that or I, I it's very confusing to me what they're doing though didn't yeah. they do that with an episode of Black Mirror? I know they've done that before. I've never seen where they've Black had Mirror. episodes of series. That sounds yeah, right. Yeah, they had do something that. that somehow with Black Mirror, I, I never watched it, but there was some big to do about either, they, yeah. they gamified something in some weird way. I remember yeah, with your phone yeah. or something had to be like yeah. make a decision or something like that. And unfortunately, I never got around to it, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. I do remember vaguely something like that.